Hello everyone, so I have a pretty full box of empties here, and I'm actually very surprised it's this full since I did so many reviews this last month, like, I was like, okay, I'm getting through, like, nothing in terms of candles, but there's a decent amount of candles in here, so I'm very happy about that. Um, there's pretty much a variety, so let's just hop right into it. We have flannel here in the foaming hand soap. Here are the scent notes for you. Crisp autumn air, heirloom mahogany, and cedarwood. This was fine. I have one more. I pretty much only purchased this when it's 75% off. It's not horrible, but I prefer it in candle form over soap form. So probably wouldn't repurchase unless it was 75% off, but even at that, I think I might be just done with flannel in the hand soap after I use it my next one, so it's not bad by any means, it's just not like a must-have for me, if that makes sense. Then I was really happy to finish off all of my fall little tester candles like this, so this was a hot cocoa and cream, you kind of see that there, the labels are hard to read. Um, there we go, hot cocoa and cream, there she is. Um, but yeah. Finish up that guy, which these I can use in like a couple days. Um, so they're real quick to use up, and that was why I had a goal of finishing these. Um, I have, I want to say like six or nine more of these little guys um, in holiday fragrances. So I'll be burning through those during the holidays as well. And then I'll have no more of these old tester candles. But I burned through Fresh Fall Morning as well, and these are small little candles, so they aren't powerhouses, um, but they're nice for like bathrooms and stuff. And I see another one hiding right here. This one kind of hurt to burn into the night. Um, it's a harder candle to get. I know it's been online, but shipping, y'all. I don't like paying shipping, <laughs> but it was really nice to burn this, and I thoroughly enjoyed burning into the night in candle form. Um, I think it's really, really nice. It has sugared raspberry, velvet rose petals, and shimmering amber. So, love that one. Then I got through this Brazilian orange uh, mandarin and guava aromatherapy. I really like this one. As we all know, it is hard to get that last bit of product out. I tried kind of using the um, like straw to like scoop some out, but it was just getting to the point that it was annoying, so I used up as much as I could. Um, I used this before bed, my husband and I both used it, so we were able to get through it pretty quickly. Um, I would probably get this one again if it was during some my annual sale, because um, I thought it smelled really nice, and I know it's supposed to like revive you, but it actually was kind of relaxing for bedtime. I think aromatherapy just in general makes me think of bedtime because <laughs> that's when I usually use it so that was really nice thoroughly enjoyed I got through a fine fragrance mist in Cabana Breeze this pained me to use it's in my top five favorites it might be one of my all-time favorite body care fragrances actually unfortunately the notes aren't on here but it is a tropical scent it was only six dollars back when I got it in 2017 um but I actually used it as like a room spray because I just knew I wouldn't get through it um, any other way. So I decided to use it up before it went bad and loved it. <sighs> I want them to bring that scent back. I still have a full size fragrance mist, but I loved the shower jelly. I hope you were around for the time of the shower jellies. Those were so fun. Um, then I have this Pinkberry Clouds Creamy Body Scrub. This has been like my most favorite fragrance that I have used in a while and usually I don't get very attached to my body care I'm great at using it but when I started using this I was like I don't want to it's so good that I just want to keep it forever but that I'm not going to enjoy it so I was like you know what we're just going to use it I have like an inch left of shower gel and a little bit of body cream so you'll probably see those in the next empties but I am obsessed with Pinkberry Clouds has strawberry spun sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. And I know a lot of people thought the fresh air note was weird, but I don't know. When I used this in the shower, I fell in love with it. Um, I'm hoping, since we saw the Pinkberry Clouds for 50% off during the uh, Labor Day sale, I'm hoping the remainder will come back out at the next semi-annual for like 75% off. And if I can get a set, I will definitely be picking up 
um, more body cream and shower gel of that one because I loved it. Oh, and this scrub formula was really nice. I love the creamy body scrub. So I would 1000% repurchase that. It's just a matter of if I will get the opportunity to. Then my husband it got through his fresh water shower gel. I've always liked this one. It was pretty good. It's not one of my favorites for him, um, but it's by no means bad. It has Italian bergamot, mountain spring water, and oak moss. And while I love bergamot, I think it's the oak moss note that sometimes after he showers, it kind of smells like musty in not a good way. <laughs> so that's just kind of weird. Like he doesn't smell like it, but the room smells a little funny sometimes. Um, so I think that's why that one kind of weirds me out. But I don't think we have any more of that one. It might have been like a semi-annual sale purchase or gratis or something, but um, yeah, probably won't get that one again, just he has so many other ones anyway. I have this really old beach cabana, and it was not smelling at all, and like, I was like, okay, we're moving on to something that will actually work. Um, it's very, very old, <laughs> so I think that's why it has beachside jasmine, orange blossom, and warm white sands. It's just kind of a warm, kind of musky fresh fragrance but I think these are just so old at this point so I'm just trying to power through them and I can't wait to get done with them. Um, Beatscape is another older one. Um, it's just that funky color. Why do they change color like that? <laughs> um, it has a fresh sea breeze, warm cotton, and lotus flower. So I just use these fresh ones in the garage and they help with odor elimination when they're actually performing. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh we have another we have heirloom apple. It looks like I could have got another burn out of this one, but oh well. Um, it smells like fresh apples. Even this little tiny candle was super, super strong. Maybe I'll light it up one more time here before I recycle, because um, I think I can get another burn out of this here. So I'm going to do that right after this, but if you're looking for a strong apple scent, Heirloom apple, which is now Honeycrisp apple. Hopefully it has like kept its same formula over time, but I actually have a three wick of it here as well. This was so strong. Um, it did get a little sooty, but I think that was my bad because I was letting it burn uh, for a hot second <laughs> one day. So I think that was on me. But it has golden honey crisp, apple blossoms, and fresh sugar cane. This was from 2019, and now it's been renamed to Honey Crisp Apple. So if you ever have a chance and you want a really strong apple fragrance, this is it. Very, very strong. Then I burned a candle that I've never enjoyed. I've never liked vanilla birch. It just was like not a thing for me. Um, it burned extremely well, extremely clean. Like that is beautiful. I love to see it. This was from 2020. And here are the notes, white birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, and warm sandalwood. So I think why I don't like this or didn't like this fragrance was the room sprays made me so nauseous. Um, back years ago when I was an associate at Bath, Bath and Body Works, um, you're at the register a lot and the room sprays are located right there and people would always spray vanilla birch and for some reason that one would give me the worst nausea and headache. Um, so I think that's why I always associated this as a fragrance I didn't like. But once I kind of, you know, moved up in Bath and Body Works, I started to like get out there more, get away from the room sprays. Um, and this was in an MOS and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try vanilla birch and I didn't hate it. Is it something I'm super obsessed with? No. Was it awful? No. Did I enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. I thought the vanilla was really nice to kind of cut those woodsy tones and I didn't hate it. So if this ever comes up in a MOS again or for 75% off, I'd be inclined to pick it up. I thought it was a really nice fall fragrance um, and also really cute lid as well. So that's why you try the stuff you don't like. That's why. You never know. All right, I need to pick up the pace here. We have our Mineral Springs. I don't have much to say about that. I'm so sick of it, but I'm trying to use those old ones up. I use Blue Ocean Waves down to every last drop. It was strong the whole time. This was an amazing wallflower. It did not 
stop smelling part way through. Um, I did have it on a side control on high, so I got through it pretty quickly. Um, but I like to get through them fast since I have so many I need to get through. But this was amazing. I love Blue Ocean Waves. I'm hoarding my last three wick of it. I found single wicks like when they um, clearance out the testers, but <sighs> Path of the Body Works, if you'll do something for me, bring back Blue Ocean Waves in a three wick. I adore this fragrance. It is so clean, so fresh. It is amazing. And please bring back Cabana Breeze in body care or candle or anything. Rant over. <laughs> um, something non Bath and Body Works related. I got through all of my Harry's razor um, cartridges. They're fine. They work. They do a good job. Don't got much to say about that, but I just thought I'd include it. Um, I have a coconut pineapple body cream. I was using this with my Key West um, coconut water and melon shower gel. This was really, really good. Um, and I have backed this one up already. Love it. I think it would pair really well with Summer Melody because that also has a melon note to it. Um, and I might do that next summer. There is a bit of body cream left in here. But in reality, I know I won't use this any further. So I may see if someone I know wants to finish this off. If not, um, I'm going to just clean it out and recycle it. Um, I have so much body care. So I just like can't get caught up. Um, and I know there's like a few uses in here but it's used to the point where I'm satisfied and I'm happy and I'm ready to use up some other things before they go bad. Let's see. This one is a declutter. This is Sweetheart Cupcake. I was using it. Um, it is from 2019 so it's pretty old. I had it in my apron at work and it got pretty beat up as you can see uh, but it started to smell off um, so I decided to get rid of it but it has really really pretty light pink sparkles. I hope you can kind of see. Um, it looks really pretty on the lips, but like I said, yeah, it just doesn't smell like it used to. Um, unfortunately, I bought a lot of lip glosses and then when the pandemic happened and I was wearing masks, I wasn't using them. So that was just a tragic <laughs> loss because of that. I got through a raspberry tangerine pocket bag. This one was really nice and I would definitely get that one again. I also got through this Sunset Glow hand cream. These things get really beat up in my apron at work, um, so that's why it looks like that, but I would definitely get this one again as well. Um, I love Sunset Glow, and it came back for the last semi-annual, so I'm curious if they're going to like keep bringing that one back or not. Then we have my car scents. I have leaves here. Let me tell you, this is the strongest car scent I've ever used. Um, the whole month, it was strong. Like I opened my door, and I was like, Wow, that is leaves. So that was kind of surprising because usually they kind of fizzle out um, over the course of a month, but not that one. She was very strong. And another random thing, I just have this mascara from Essence. Um, I probably wouldn't get this one again. It was okay, but it didn't do anything special for me. Last candle, we have Autumn Day. This was a 75% off purchase. Um, it has crisp green apple, fig, white birch, and cedar. This was from 2021. Um, I like this one burning more than on cold. This was one that I was like, I feel like I should like it because of the notes. But like, something weirded me out about it. I don't know if it's the birch and cedar with it. Um, but yeah. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I'm not going to repurchase this one ever again. Like, I wasn't obsessed with it or anything. I thought the wax was really cool, the green color. But I enjoyed it. Um, it's just not something I'm like, oh yeah, I need more autumn day. <laughs> and then lastly, I have two hand soaps. Um, sweater weather. Love it. A thousand times again. We'll get it in candle, body care, every form. I love sweater weather. And then afternoon apple picking. Just a classic good apple fragrance so would get that one again and I think I have more so that's all the empties I hope you enjoyed watching this um if you made it this far leave a fall emoji in the comments um I'd love to know you made it all the way to the end and I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video